I love this one. What's up you guys, this is TLJ Garage, and today we are going broke, again. Good news for you Saab followers of ours, uh, we have been trying our very best, TLJ Garage, to get you guys a Saab. Um, I'm like a kid in a standy store, and we are so excited to go pick this one up for you guys, you guys are going to love it. Um, we're going to hop in the Civic, it still has the um, plastic over the windshield, so we're going to get in there and drive it away. So the Saab that we just bought, it's a Saab 9.3 Aero. So that is the fastest Saab in the world and it's a 2006 and it's gonna be awesome. I don't really um, feel like peeling the tape off because it sucks putting it back on. So it kind of sucks, but I have to go through the hole. Um, also, we have to run to the bay. You in? Yep. Let's roll. Let's go, buddy. So for those of you guys who are concerned for my safety, don't worry, I have a hole for my mirror and I have a hole for looking at other cars. So it's perfect. We've never had an arrow before, so we're super excited. Instead of being the four cylinder, it's this, out of finger please. It's the six cylinder, oh, it's just one. It's the six cylinder, it's a six cylinder turbo. The fastest car that Saab ever made, zero to 60 is just a hair over six seconds and it makes 250 bones. We're about to make over 300 horsepower with this car, no questions asked. Currently, it does not run and there's a coolant leak. We don't know why, but we'll figure it out. So you guys will be seeing the process of flipping an airplane, getting there up and running, and having a good time. So we just got all the bones from the bank. Now we're hopping into the Saab so that when we get there to buy the Saab, they will know that we're Saab guys and they will know that we know what we're talking about, about Saabs and airplanes. So we're gonna hop into the cool car that has AC and is a little bit more legal because it has all four windows not for long but yeah let's just go we need to get a bone detector yeah oh good idea we'll so, we're, so next video we will be getting a bone detector let us know if any of you guys have a bone detector for us that we can use <laughs> all right you guys we finally made it to the location of the sob it looks beautiful um now we have to go talk to her she said that she doesn't want to be filmed because she um uh how do i put this got in trouble with the law so we can't be filming her, but we will be um, showing you guys the car when we get back. So the AAA dummies finally dropped the sob off at the house and um, I just wanted to let you guys know how much I got this car for. So she was asking $2,500 for it. It's a clean title, it has 112,000 miles on it, and it's an arrow. I offered her, I think, 1,500, and she was iffy about it. And I was like, well, how about I come see the car in person? So I went out, we went out to go check out the car, and um, turns out it had a few issues. It has coolant leak, and it has a small electrical issue, which we haven't experienced yet. So based off those issues, I was able to talk her down to only 700 bones for a Saab 9.3 Aero. Are you kidding me, guys? perfect so we were doing a run through of the car and we first of all just wanted to find out if it ran we started it it leaked a little bit of coolant and then I gave her some bones and then we think that the radiator blew so coolant went everywhere we had a whole entire gallon probably this much all leak out onto the floor at once we didn't really think it was gonna happen and we didn't know what to do but as you can see I mean that's a lot of coolant I just got stuck by that much so what we're gonna do now is show you guys what happened when we tried to start it and give it some bones and we're gonna show you just how bad it is. We need to pressurize the system. So this is where the leak's gonna happen. Here it goes. Dang! Uh -oh. As you guys can see, it's leaking pretty good. It's getting all over my hand, it's warm. And now we know how to fix it. Radiator. Oh, uh oh. So our next step is to take off the front bumper and the headlights, as well as this bar across the top. And that will allow us to get a closer look at the radiator and find where the leak is exactly coming from. Um, one thing you guys need to know about SOBs is that they're extremely easy to work on and very reliable. So just a couple bolts. comes right off and this is my wiring issue 
All right, three minutes later, and we've gotten um, a lot of this stuff removed. Uh, we're getting pretty close. The radiator fans are just about to come out, and the radiators next. We're gonna leave the intercooler and the AC condenser in because we don't need to take those guys out. So we know that the radiator's bad. We saw all the leaks is coming out way too fast. So we overnight shipped one from Sweden. Um, it definitely was not cheap, but this is not a cheap car. It's the world's fastest car, slash sob. So now all we gotta do is go pick it up from Bone Riley's, install it, and then we're gonna be at the track. Uh oh boys, all the bones are coming out right now. Oh my gosh. Finally got the car torn apart. We got the intercooler off and the old radiator. As you can see, there's lots of debris and it just looks really old wear and tear. So this one was definitely well overdue, even if it wasn't cracked to be replaced. Cause we do it by code. But now we gotta throw in the new one. So in order to get the radiator and the intercooler out, we had to jack up the car and um, Saab likes you to do it their way. So we had to jack it up and pull the radiator and everything down from under the car instead of pulling it out because they don't like to do that. So at this point in the repair, um, everything is being hoisted up by this one screwdriver. Right now, all we really have to do is put in the new radiator, but unfortunately, well, we tested the old radiator, there was a leak, but we know there's two leaks because when we were revving it, the radiator blew. So the other leak is most likely coming from the water pump, and if it's coming from there after we test it with the new radiator, that will be in the next video. Enough with the chit chat, boys. Let's get to work. Bone Riley screwed us over just like Autobone did. And now I don't know who to go to. I don't know what to do. They gave me the wrong radiator. And we just now found out after all that work. So we're gonna have to call our buddies in Sweden and overnight ship another one. So next day we got the overnight shipment. Shout out to Ricky. Um, all we're gonna do now is open it up, throw it onto the car and then give her some bones, see what she can do. Go fast to stop. So before we install the new radiator, we're gonna see how this bad boy works. We are curious, charismatic guys, so we're just gonna cut it open. We don't feel like messing up Axel's grass, so we're gonna do it the right way and cut it on this. Ready, buddy? Yeah, ready. Dude, dibs this one. No, dude. Shout out Milwaukee boys. So now that we have this part cut, we can see that the water actually just goes right in between these little splines and it gets bigger in the middle. So it looks like it's tiny, but it's actually a little bit bigger. So now we're gonna fill it and watch water come out. Whoa. Whoa. And that's how a radiator works, boys. That's pretty cool. In the process of the surgery of the radiator, uh, I accidentally messed up and cut Axel's TV, so we're just gonna cut this one in half too and see how it works as well. Oh, I got some glass in my eye. Really? Yeah. It's not even glass. What is it, plastic glass? Keep cutting, buddy. So, the blade's not long enough to cut the TV in half, but we definitely got learnt on how it works, so now we're going to move on to just fixing up the car. We got the radiator, condenser, and intercooler all put back into place. We're not going to add everything yet, 
because we're going to start it up and if there's a leak then we just have to take it all off again. So right now it's going to be a cold start in the world's fastest car, that's a saw. Before we start the car, we want to take a second out to thank our sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Up and Up Twin Blade. I've been using these on my face for about 10 years. I just used it last night and I absolutely loved it. Um, these were only two bucks, and if you use promo code TLJ Garage at Walmart when you check out, you can get them for $1.89. Also, the thing that we love about these is the way to use them is very simple. All you need is water, soap, and the razor. Check it out. So the way that you use it, just grab a razor. I believe it comes with tin. Pop the cap off. It's a little hard. It's child lock. First things first, I need to get my face wet. And also I highly recommend the Lightning McQueen Rusty Soap, mainly just for irritation. Soap. And it soaps up really nice. Also, most of you guys probably were confused that I had a goatee and it was just for this video. So I got a bunch of soap on now. Now all I have to do is get the razor a little bit wet because it does come with the strip of lubricant and now I'm ready. Coming off pretty good. I love this stuff. How's it look? All right, so I'm all cleaned up now. Like I said, I absolutely love this stuff. These two together is a power combo. You cannot go wrong. I unfortunately did a little bit. User error, I nicked myself slightly, but that's gonna be fine. Um, I feel good and I'm shaved up. Now it's time to go start the 9-3. Uh oh boys. Boys, we finally got it started. There's a few issues, but it turned out the map airflow sensor was bad. So I unplugged it and it started right up. And now we're gonna take it for a ride. So first step, when I started it up, there was a code that said gearbox malfunction. We don't really care about that. We love replacing gearboxes. So we will not be contacting the Saab dealer because there are no Saab dealers. We are the new Saab dealer, more than less. So let's put it into reverse and see how she does. Boys, the gearbox seemed to be a little bit clunky. Doesn't matter for me because look it, we're on the road, it's driving great. We're gonna take it to Cali next weekend. Um, is it shifting? Not really. Boys, we just hit boost for the very first time. I don't know if that's a good thing because the hood just completely popped up. Um, I cannot see right Dude, now. Dude, stop! Dude, I need to get over. This car just went from eight grand to zero. All right, boys, so we ran into an issue. Boys. Runs good though. This might be our last long video. <laughs> oh. Boys, 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 boys. I messed up big time. Uh, I hit boost, the hood went flying up. It cracked the windshield, the hood's completely messed up. Um, lots of dents in that one. So we're gonna have to buy a new hood, new windshield. Um, we need a new transmission and we need enough gas to get to Cali. Five minute test drive turned into about $1,500 of damage. Um, TLJ Garage does not mess around. You know we can uh, break a car in under five minutes. Any car, challenge us. The hood is dented bad, boys. The windshield is cracked. Um, it barely opens now. This is new. Whoa, cool. Where'd that come from, bubs? I'm not sure. Um, this is broken. Our little support buddy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I don't know why this ended this way, but it did. And sometimes bad things happen to great people. Sometimes good things happen to bad people. So this was just one of my lucky days. And this means I get to work more on my car. I have to buy a new hood, a lot of other stuff, new windshield. Probably won't buy that. Um, 
but yeah and we got to go tv shopping so thank you guys for watching uh like and subscribe there'll be lots more saw videos lots more other videos stay tuned peace I recommend <laughs> And also, I highly recommend the Rusty's Lighting. <laughs> Do <you> like <laughs> Dude, it's so hard to see. Oh. And also, I highly. And also, I highly recommend the Lightning McQueen. <laughs> Dude, it's so hard. Okay, last one.